McGrath, Huffman, Lampson, Lusk, Pashone, and then Emig, Hughes, Ward, and Craig, at least the top nine that we have. But Jeremy McGrath and uh, one of the greatest races uh, that I can remember uh, in coming up through the field to win this one here today. Uh, Ward started out with the lead. That's ex excited everyone. We were shouting and couldn't hear each other simply because uh, of the great noise factor we have here in the kingdom. But after a while, we were shouting because of the unbelievable racing that we saw here this evening. Jeremy McGrath, a perfect 100 points on top. Damon Huffman with 77 points now as LaRocco, with the rock in the radiator, failed to finish, actually, and only gained a point if he was in last place on the official uh, docket to 55 points. Uh, Craig with 60 points, Hughes with 59 points, but really the tremendous battle that brought these people alive here in Seattle was between Damon Huffman and Jeremy McGrath. And here you can see some of that battle, the crowd on their feet, Huffman behind McGrath here, relentless. He would not give McGrath an inch, stalls it right there, that was the race. He was putting the pressure on McGrath, and once he did that, McGrath could look over his shoulder and see that mistake and knew he could cruise in from there. This is the pass for the lead, one of them anyway, there was a million, we couldn't keep track. Huffman able to do that, that double jump, McGrath looking over at him going, man, I shouldn't have left that door open, but he couldn't do that double jump from the inside. So Huffman taking over the lead there. Yeah, I wonder if Davy Coombs is going to find out what Jeremy was thinking here after he got the break because of the fact that in 1994 he was leading and with two laps remaining, got the flat tire. Let's go to Davy Coombs. Okay, I'm down here with Jeremy McGrath. Jeremy, were you surprised when Huffman came up like that? Well, I was definitely surprised. I didn't think someone would be on my tail so much like that. I was coming through the pack. I had some good lines over here in the corner, and I think Damon saw a lot of my lines, and he just stayed right on my tail. And then when I got in front, kind of relaxed a little, and he made me nervous a little bit. But uh, <laughs> you know, he, he's coming up. He's, he's good. I just, I just think I was a little bit maybe nervous like that after I got in front. I don't know. Does he remind you of Jeremy McGrath in 1993, coming off a couple 125 titles? Yeah, Damon's. He's definitely, um, you know, the one that's going to be the champ. If I'm not, I, I, he's riding. He's riding really good, and and uh, he reminds me a lot of myself. Okay, we're going to try and get a word with Damon Huffman, and he's still talking to the uh, event announcer here. Jeremy, what about the rest of the year? You've got four in a row. How long is this going to last? Well, I don't know. I'm just taking each race by each race. Um, I hope I can win some more in a row. we got San Diego next week. It's kind of a local race for me again, and, and uh, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Okay. What about uh, your my, uh, teammate, Steve Lampson? He got a good start. You came up behind him. Did he give me any trouble at all? No, actually, Lampson, I got around him kind of quick. Uh, you know, Damon got in front of me there, and I, I did the exact same thing he did in the heat race. I didn't jump that double, and he flew right by me. And, and uh, you know, I think we need to get my bike working a little bit better through the woods. He was definitely on it. It's, it's a little bit easier to be in second. Okay, well, Jeremy, we're going to try and get a word with Damon Huffman here. Congratulations again. Are you stoked? Is that your best 250 ride yet, or what? Oh, yeah, by far. You know, this one, uh, you know, even top Anaheim, and, you know, I finally got to race with them. You know, it, He's always up in the front, and I'm always coming from behind, but today we got we both got the outstarts, and I just rode with them and rode smart, and it was pretty cool. Okay, congratulations. Back up to you, Art. Okay, a Jeremy McGrath victory, his fourth in a row, but by the hair of the chinny-chin-chin chin for quite a few laps.